That's right. Good evening, Dynasty Darlings. Oh, yeah. Happy soggy Monday night. We are so happy to have you here in our 97-year-old theater. Ooh, that's right. Legend has it. Shirley Temple learned how to tap dance in this very room. I am not making that up. That is absolutely probably true. All right, we've got a terrific show and live stream for you this evening. That's right, powerful microphones are aimed at your laughing faces, so give maximum joy out to the people in the universe in perpetuity and all the way out and back again. Give it up for the infinite universe, everybody. You are part of it. But even as insignificant as we are, we still have rules. Go ahead and extinguish your cell phones, place your e-cigarettes on, vibrate. Remember, there's no talking or heckling during the show. Of course you can take pictures, turn off the flash, and no videos. Use your brain to make memories. Yay, brains! All right, grow grooves and gra-gras. Please give it up right now for water. Hell yeah. He told me to come out and waste time until he's ready. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of you here. Thank you for coming. Uh, he'll be out any second. I don't think, oh, I see, I've got, here he is, Water! What the, Patrick, what the fuck was that? I was trying to do a little warm up. What, you're gonna shove me into the bathroom just so you get the chance to do a little warm up? That hurt. What, George? What's going on? Do I? I let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> not the time, not the place. Does anyone remember if I do warm up for after dark? I straight up don't. Can we get a round of oh! Here's what you need to know, and this is, here's what I'm deciding in this moment. I ain't warming shit up. I'm gonna cool some shit down. Everyone chill the fuck out. I am begging you not to give me a standing ovation right now. It is not the time, it is not the place, it is not the energy. Fight me harder, that was. That's, I like this, there we go. Every, no, 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 please, everyone sit down, everyone sit down, everyone sit down, please, everyone, please sit down. This is true. <laughs> that is just the fact. That is how numbers work. Uh, no. <laughs> Very kind of you. We don't have time for that. Of course, we have a hard out. Dynasty is a show coming in at 1.15 a.m. <laughs> Here's a question for uh, natives, Los Angeles natives. Is this the latest any show has ever happened in this city? <laughs> I feel like, well, okay, come on. It was a joke set up. It's a... <laughs> Rhetorical question. I'm not angry at you, but it made me look less funny. <laughs> Here's what you need to know. Raise your hand if you were here at the early show. Don't clap. That's wrong. <laughs> this is the kind of shit that happens at after dark. I fucking boom, boom. Everyone get out your cell phones. Portrait mode. Because I'm fucking owning this crowd. <laughs> and I'm going to go viral. Uh, no, no, everyone put your phones away. That was a joke. Uh, what happened earlier tonight was so fucking normal. It was a normal ass talk show. We were on our best behavior. Things were tight. And now we need to loosen up. I have weirdly flavored craft beers from San Francisco. We got great guests. And, and this is after dark where things get unbuttoned. <laughs> so usually I try to amp this crowd up 
and try to run them through some exercises. Like, what do you do if something funny happens? What do you do if, like, something sad happens? Everyone has big emotional reactions, but I want, like, a lot of interiority. In fact, <laughs> I would almost say the coolest thing that could possibly happen is if none of you vocalize any reactions <laughs> to anything that happens in this show tonight. Just pin drop silence. George, are you back there? Yeah, yeah come over there. Don't come out, but come behind this curtain portion for a second. Like where I'm standing, like where we were before. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Do you feel like this is working? Do you feel like I should try to go further with this or just bail and start the show? Well, it's after dark. It's up to you. Anything goes. It's off the hook. Hey, hey, tech booth. Uh, start the show if you feel like it. What time does the show start? Please start the show. Wolfman George. Hey, Waddle, how you doing? Well, no, that's not my name. What's my name? Wolfman Waddle. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't see whatever they just played on the <laughs> screen that got such an extreme vocal response. Uh -huh. Did they just announce that Shane Gillis with musical guest 21 Savages <laughs> are appearing on the next George Lucas talk show? <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. We draw the line. Not comfortable. Yeah, I could have told you that. Yeah. Hey, Wolfman Patrick. Hi, Wolfman Watto. <sighs> How we doing? It's dark. It's dark. It's after dark. Way after. Way after dark. What, what was the video? George, you've been going. It's I, Crawley. It's Crawley. It was just Crawley. It didn't sound like just Crawley. It's I know, look, George, as someone who sold off a lot of his copyrights, mm -hmm. I've seen a little pep in your step recently. I've seen a new kind of light behind your eyes that kicked in January 1st, where you realized you could do whatever the fuck you wanted with Steamboat Willie. <laughs> and you've been doing a lot. You've been doing so much, I could almost say you've been going plain crazy for Steamboat Willie. <laughs> Yeah. We, That's a joke for 10% of the crowd. We yeah. made, we made no, Steamboat Watto merch. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. That's yeah. good. It's good. Yeah. I've been a galloping gaucho ever since that copyright. That's a joke for 1% <laughs> of the audience. <laughs> I didn't think the drop-off was going to be that hard from the plane crazy. And good bit, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we hear everything you say. <laughs> Good but bit. Don't say anything else. We heard it. Good bit. Good bit. Anything can happen in this yeah. part of the show. It's not a normal show. We did a very conventional normal show before. Yeah. The we, most. We had dog regular. here. It couldn't have been more crowd pleasing. No. Yeah. This is this is the purge of George Lucas talk show. 
<laughs> for the next 90 minutes, everything is legal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, which honestly drives the Nemoidians crazy. Because they, they keep asking over and over again, and the only answer is yes, it's legal now. Hey, we've got some fun people who are going to yeah, come party with us. Let's bring them out. What do you say, Wolfman Watto? Here's what I say. Please welcome to the stage Wolfman Beck Bennett, Wolfman Kyle Mooney, Wolfman Bobby Moynihan, and Wolfman Rich Summer. Grab chairs. Bobby. That was he, awesome. Bobby gets the wireless one, which means you get to walk around a lot more than the rest of us. Correct. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to go, Bobby? I'm going to go over here for a little bit. All right. Unencumbered. Okay, this is already crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a late show or a night show. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it- everything you think you knew about a show. <laughs> now he's going back. Bobby. Hey, man. How are you, George? Pretty good, Bobby. Uh, have you, has everyone ha- been having a pleasant uh, rainy day? Did you do any rainy day activities? Ooh. No? Ooh. You have to answer. <laughs> you have to answer. I know we're having fun. Um, actually, uh, uh, I drained my pool. Drained the pool? You drained the pool in the While rain. While it's raining. <laughs> yeah, it was filled. <laughs> from the rain or just from the pool, at normal pool activities? We had the pool pretty much filled, and then the rain okay. topped, topped it up. It over. And, <laughs> and then you said, we don't want this. Nope. Get so out like, of did there. Did you drain like 10% of the pool so the <laughs> rain could fill in that extra 10%? I don't want to talk about my pool anymore. <laughs> yeah. Beck. <laughs> no, we just drained it below, just down to the Pebble Tech. Oh, you know. sounds oh, like you did. Pebble Tech. Down to the Pebble Tech, tech past the tile. Sounds, on, like, cool sounds like you do want to talk about the pool a little more. Yeah, Pebble Tech. Okay. We have bl- drained the color of the tile. Is? Yeah. Yeah. The color yeah. of the tile is like blueberry. natural feeling. <laughs> blueberry Pebble Tech? <laughs> Correct, Watto. Shit. Pepper Tech? This shit would not fly at 730. <laughs> this is like yeah. fucking oh, unreal. <laughs> Beck, you like to go to the pool? Do you have a pool? I do have a pool. You go to it? I go to it every day. Yeah? <laughs> I take my clothes off and I jump in first thing every morning. Cold oh, wow. Push. How quick you dry off? Uh, <laughs> on a regular day, not today, because obviously. Yeah. Like, are you fast? Like, are no, you, you go from slow. wet to dry? I'm, f- I'm you take pretty, t- I, t- I take a while because I don't, I don't rub my body. Oh, it's just. <laughs> I, don't, I don't rub you, off the you water. Don't rub, you don't rub dry? No, I, I, what is it? Rub dry? Air, no, I don't rub. You dry. air you dry. I air dry. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. And Beck, I just stand there and I sweat a lot. So. Beck, oh. follow up question. Yeah. When you take off your clothes and jump into the pool. Yeah. What is the order of your body parts hitting the water? Balls. Balls first. Feet. <laughs> penis. Okay. So you're sort of balls first. The feet are closely following. Feet follow. <laughs> right. Followed by the penis. Right. So it's balls. Followed feet, by feet. my stomach yes. and the front of my head. Yes. <laughs> Arms above your head. Right. Followed by my hands. So are middle last. fingers <laughs> last. Yeah. Middle fingers last. Yeah. Always. No, it's good. It's smart. It's a good strategy. And my middle ball is always first. <laughs> sure. Sure. Beck, can I answer? I, you feel free to say no if this is a sensitive question. But you I say, t- can I answer? Yeah. Can I, <laughs> can I answer? This is fucking after dark yeah, shit. This is, this is what I'm dark. saying. Kyle, Sometimes I'll answer about? the question while I'm asking it. <laughs> <laughs> you said balls first, then penis. Yes. Now, is that because, is that, are we talking about a flaccid penis that flies up with a momentum of going exactly, down? Exactly, so exactly. Sort of, so yeah. it's sort of like, it's like the, the being dragged behind, like, whoa, I didn't plan for this. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> All right. So my balls are not flying back. They're yeah, dropping they're heading down. straight for the pool. Yeah. Like a little bit of this, like a little bit of this. Yeah. Like the mic is exactly. the balls, <laughs> and the nose is the dick. Like the mic is this. both balls. The microphone is the balls. <laughs> Can we get a second <laughs> mic? That's exactly what just mine for the, looks like. Because we got, you have a second mic so close. You just have a second mic? Yeah, I do. <laughs> 
<laughs> I do, because it's yeah. fucking after dark. I need for to make this, light bulbs. Watto okay. has that for this bit in case it ever wow. happens. Patrick, you wouldn't understand this, but an actor prepares. <laughs> And sometimes that's about sense memory, and sometimes it's about having two mics for a mic bottle, so your nose can be a dick. Like this. (laughs) (laughs) That's exactly what my penis penis. and balls look like. And Uta Hagen does talk about that. (laughs) Is that actor prepares? Is that that that? right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Good. Yeah, she talks about that. Kind of looks like a cock to me. Can no, wait, you just quickly wait, no, just can, like, oh, no, like no, no, a no, regular please. cock? Like or like a different it's a different in any way. <laughs> Brother don't get me started. Right, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Can we all just <laughs> quickly just can we all blue. just like yeah. go off mic for one second? Yeah. 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 Everyone yeah. just go off mic. Please. Everyone off mic. Okay. Right, this is off mic. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and yeah. the good right. good sense here with the lighting look. Okay. Is it just me or does it feel like this show is like on fire so far? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel yeah, I feel the same this way. This feels like fucking like once in a lifetime energy. Yeah. 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 Great. Now we yeah. just need to what? live up to that yeah, for the I'd rest say, of the show. Keep it up. Yeah, let's keep it going. Keep it up. Can I say I like I feel like we're out of control and yet we're all seated. And that's something that's mm-hmm. hard to pull off. Yeah. Bobby Bobby's the only one who doesn't he have to get be up seated. At any time. Yeah, it's by choice. Bobby's choosing to yeah, remain he can seated. Move around. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh, Modelo. We're going shit. back on, Mike. Yeah, back on. Back okay, on, Mike. Oh. Kyle, you go to the pool? His pool or? or? Any, any pool, man. Yeah, do you got any Anyone pool? who wants to come to, to a... my pool could come to my pool. Whoa. Oh, that is awesome. After the Thanks show about. tonight? I've not been to a pool recently, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'd be down. <laughs> yeah? You like it? You like it? I don't. Uh, like t- uh, <laughs> shit. Um, I don't feel fully comfortable with my body. Mm. You should. It's it's uh, awesome. It's a cool. Yeah. It's, a, it's cool a cool body. body. It's a good body. I, cool. It's one of those bodies. I think I do. I also. I I do think that like. Forgive me for being basic. Forgiven. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> um, but I do. I do think the the getting in process of the pool and like. The coldness and it, it, it hitting the different parts of your body—I I find it intimidating. I, I don't know. So much shit happens in my brain. It's really. <laughs> that sounds um, crazy. So, Kyle, you don't consider no. the order in which each of your body parts hit the pool? Do I not consider? I, 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 uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm just yeah. It just it. it uh, I, I do consider it in the sense that I can tell with each layer. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I mm-hmm. fear it. Mm-hmm. But that, that sounds reactive. That sounds like as the layers are hitting, you're processing them rather than planning. Yeah, no intention there. Mm-hmm. Right. Beck was all intention. Mm-hmm. Balls have to go first. That's right. And that's why I go back every day, because I love it. <laughs> it feels really good. Got it. Sorry about that, Wada. Kyle, <laughs> brings me there. <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> <laughs> Briggs be bear. I like. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. It's good. I appreciate that, George. I like it. That's I watch so it at Skywalker Ranch. Really? Yes. I put it on. I play THX with it. The movie or the sound? The sound. That oh, sounds okay. like a video game. <laughs> no. I make sure I, I put a special filter on it so it sounds fucking even better. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Like, I put it through my big speakers. That's so, well, Thank you. You I mean, sound funny, but also then poignant. Mm-hmm. I, hmm. I, I, <laughs> you do comedy that makes me feel things. That's so sweet, George. I, well, thank you for watching it. And, um, uh, you, you and got I do play Detective Bender in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He's Detective Bender. Detective I'm Bender. Detective Bender. Does he have a Which first name? We actually based off the Futurama character. <laughs> 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 Does Detective Bender <laughs> have a first crazy. name? Yeah, he got you, man. That's. Can you do a little? Yeah, what, me? Does he have yeah. a first name? First of all, uh, det- no, just Detective. Can nope. you do a little of Bender from Futurama just for the cra- just for the? Because I think it would mean a lot to, the, to some of the kids. Bender, so just a, just your, Cause I have, know we all know who Bender. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Very good Bender. Wait, it's Bender. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's Bender, kind of like that. Now, do you want? Now, do you want to do? Uh... Now, do Detective Bender. Now, Wait. bring it back. 
you get Wait, a little bit I of know. your. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, detective! Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you. No, no, so, you're doing great. So, so I, like that. Yeah. <laughs> but now then, ask a perp a question. <laughs> or, or Bobby, yeah. you be Greg Kinnear. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Can you do? <laughs> you can, can you do Greg Kinnear? Yes. Okay. You're looking in in the evidence room, and Detective Bender, which is I want. This is what I want. I'm going to direct. What? Is this okay? Please, oh, please. All right. Uh, hey, if only we had this on set. <laughs> I want, I want 60% Detective Bender as seen in the film. And use the space. And yeah, use, oh, I will. You have and space. And, and, and 40%? 40% what we, a little bit of what we just got of classic Futurama Bender. Okay. <laughs> just that's the blend, okay. and we might well, adjust. That's the cool thing. It's the classic era, not when they like rebooted it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. This is not, yeah. Not that This is not for shit. the movies that they broke up, and this is yeah. not for the Hulu version. No Hulu, no Comedy Central. We're looking pure Fox. Oh, yeah. Prime okay. time. Fox. Okay. Fox. Perfect. Yeah. Everyone okay, this is the Fox. Kyle, pure Fox. 40% Bender. <laughs> uh, 60% Bender. So, Here we go. This is great. I say what's happening in the scene, or you want to narrate it? I think... So yeah, so, yeah. Start out by saying what's happening. So um, <laughs> there's an evidence locker, and Greg Kinnear is in the closet. He's looking through some stuff um, that let's, have to do uh, back, with back, why back, Kyle's character... Not to note you, let's maybe formalize it, make it more of a we see... We see, okay, we see, we, we pan down and we see Greg Kinnear in the evidence closet going through uh, some evidence that is incriminating Kyle's character. And uh, we, we then cut to another camera and we see the door of the evidence closet and somebody walks by. Also, just a reminder, Greg Kinnear's name is Detective Vogel. And, and wait, Bobby, just quickly. That was pretty good. That was wow. pretty good. TH, the audience is listening. And there we go. <laughs> uh, can I tell you? Can I tell you a secret? And I know this, and this is I, I learned this that the character of BB-8 in the Disney Star Wars movies mm -hmm. is named after that. The meaning of that is Brigsby Bear Eight, <laughs> meaning that movie Eight. Which is what young people say now when something is good. They'll say that eight. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Now, I, I want you to think that. about the timeline of that because sure. that movie came out a long time ago <laughs> and that was what they were thinking. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Bob, Bobby, oh, you get yeah, it? Yeah, I get it. Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that seems. Oh, yeah, where you go. No, it's. <laughs> I think that's what it was. BBA was very complimentary. That's, yeah. It's a future compliment. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to take anything away uh, back from that masterful performance. Right. No. Yeah. No, just I, yeah. Please don't. I don't want you to either. But I, I really felt like Bobby was doing some rich work there. Oh yeah. Uh, no disrespect. Rich. None taken. And uh. <laughs> I'd love to see because your vocal is it. There's so much in there. There's well, so much in there. Well, he has a whole closet of props to play with. Absolutely. <laughs> and Part I of just me is wondering, hallway. what if we got 60% that Detective Vogel you just gave us, your spot-on Kinnear, but worked <laughs> in 40% Colonel Vogel from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He's the guy who goes over in the tank at the end? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen the film. Really? What? You've never seen Last Crusade? Oh, I thought you meant the newest one. No. Oh, oh yeah, 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 no, no, no. I, Last Crusade. Um, Last Crusade. I, I have a, a Beck Bennett um, story that Let's that just made it. me think of. Yeah. If, if, if it's, yes. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the Last Crusade, do you remember this? Um, uh oh. <laughs> Beck and I auditioned for the same improv troupe in college, and uh, when we we made it through callbacks, but then you were. We, you didn't get on the group immediately if you if you advanced, and you went through a workshop period. It was like a six week period with the current group, and uh, at some point, I think like a ground lane came in. Brian Palermo, I, I know, I, oh, I, yeah. I think oh. I know it. Happened. Palermo comes in, and everybody um, loves. But anyway, so you have <laughs> to sort of you have to you're essentially auditioning for a, for an additional six weeks. Anyway, Beck and I did a scene together. I don't know if you recall this, where um, one 
person can't use words and the other person can. Oh, classic R2 three PO. <laughs> <laughs> So that's where they got that shit from, <laughs> fucking cowards. <laughs> but uh, we did a scene together, and um, you must have been the one speaking and not me. And we just essentially recreated the scene of the guy going in trying to find the grail. And like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you remember that? I, I mean, the, you know, the, ru- the yeah, room. Choose where wisely. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember that scene. I mean, wow. I don't remember us doing that. So. Oh, we did it, and then I think who? Uh, um, There's the George. Not, who yeah. who wrote Crusade along with yourself? Well, I always come up with a story. I'm like, here's yeah. what Indiana Jones should do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lawrence what's his Kazdan? face? No, no, that that wasn't a cast. I went. Last Crusade was uh, was it Bohm? It was Bohm. It was Jeffrey Bohm yeah, and your Bohm. buddy Steve. Wow. Yeah. 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 I think afterwards, the director of the troupe was like, "Oh, that was great, guys." Uh, Jeffrey Bohm already wrote that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, the director of the true pulled Bohm? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, he's. That's impressive that the director of the improv troupe <laughs> had Bohm at Quick Recall. Well, he one went, of, one he of went, my favorite movies, he, and even I had to Google it. He went, yeah. he went on, he went George on to cre- hesitated. He went on to create Halt and Catch Fire. So, <laughs> so yeah. maybe you should halt Didn't he do and one catch the... and get fired. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no! He's pissed. He's pissed. He's pissed. Anyway, it was, you had to. Uh, that was an awesome scene, and you can all remember they got all the chalices, and <laughs> you just kept on saying no, go for another one, and <laughs> then so, we got on the troop. <laughs> hey. Yeah. What was the name of the troop? Comedus Interruptus. Okay. Johnny's back room. <laughs> Was this a was this a teacher who said that or a student who was making the decision of of what the, there, stu- the one who's, who dropped the bomb st- on you yeah all students all students, all students. so it was so but there was a student who was all right, who was making fourth the... graders <laughs> fourth graders <laughs> the truth uh, guys <laughs> funny guys but it was kind of weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You know who Jacob Baum is? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, George. No. Were you friends with yeah. that guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chris Cantwell. Chris Cantwell? Yeah. <laughs> There's Alt, something there, Alt right? Fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would have called him Chris Can't Do Anything Well. <laughs> if I was being mean, if I was being mean, we're doing burns. Oh, he can bone them, but I can't Cantwell? <laughs> Is that too cruel? Did I cross the line? I this know. is after dark. I thought we were gonna. Well, he, I thought we were gonna be. He does have certain things where you wouldn't say that to. Oh. oh. Wow. Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> Let's get real. Let's get real. He, you wouldn't want to say that. You to. wouldn't say. If you saw him, you would realize. If I saw him, I would say <laughs> it's time to put the cruelty on hold. Exactly. Life has already dealt this fellow. Yes. A cruel hand. <laughs> Exactly. I don't need to add to it. Nope. Just let time take care of everything. <laughs> That's what you're saying? Yes, let him halt and catch fire because <laughs> this guy is on his way out. Did you have a lot of friends on that troop? Did, was it a group of friends or were there, were there rivalries? Um, I think we were all friends. Right? W- within the group? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. there were some cool. duds. Full... <laughs> Yeah. Line up. Give us full line up, please. <laughs> oh, wait, we're talking about 03, 04, 04, 05, 05, 06, 06, 07. I okay. think the earliest, right? The murderer's row. The, yeah. the, fir- the original? Fall? You're, you're <laughs> fall. Yeah, fall. fall. First fall initial three? lineup. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, us. The guys, you, you me, too. Nick Rutherford, uh, uh, Laura Beckner. Yeah. Um, Chris Cantwell. Just Lampy, Dave N- Riesenberg, Sean Natalie Beery. Urquhart. Hilaire de Barros. Yeah, I think that was it. Spring. Spring. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Kraft was, was, uh, was uh, yep. uh, studying abroad. She came she back. She came back. Yeah. <laughs> fall. She studied, she, wait, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. She studied abroad in the fall and came back for spring? Yep. It's kind of a bold move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joining halfway through the year is tough, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't her freshman year, 
I assume. No, she, no, 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 no. Were you in Kimberly that year? Do you feel like your first semester on the team, you were hearing a lot about her? Where people saying, like, when she gets back, you guys, your asses are toast. Yes. <laughs> I, yeah, what do you think? I, it's like, oh, yeah, craft is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff, crazy that's, stuff like that's that. That's pretty accurate. Oh, yeah, Crabs is funny. She's crazy. <laughs> that's probably the gist of it. I was probably <laughs> hey, too scared. You were great. Oh, thanks, man. I know. No, no, you're yeah. always great. <laughs> Make each other laugh? Uh, yeah. Still, oh, yeah. even to this day. Oh, yeah, we give each other the giggles. <laughs> you give each other hey, the giggles? Hey, 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 George. Yeah. This dude picked me up today and brought me here. Yes. Whoa. That's right. Whoa. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Dude, he he I, he caught he comes down his driveway, opens the door, and what did you see? A bag of wrap snacks. I'm like, do you guys yeah, know what those that's are? That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> what is they were that? they were uh, little baby. It was little baby. Little baby. <laughs> I thought chips. you were gonna say. I think you tell him how I uh, <laughs> dragged a recycling bin. No, no, no. I was, uh, no, I was like comedically. Yeah, I was do you guys like, know I what like these those? are? Like, oh, do look, people look. see these at Target? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were struggling with the uh, the recycling. It's pretty wet out there. What kind of car? What, what kind of what kind of, what kind of, what kind of car you drive back? Oh boy. Um, I'm I into cars. I, Kyle asked me what it was. I don't. I think it's an it's an Audi Q8. An Audi Q8. Yes, thank you, thank you very much. A smattering <laughs> of applause. Yes. <laughs> hey, George, the... that, hey, that could be an Audi Q8. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Let's see where this goes. I like that. I want more. Audi Q8. Audi Q8. Yeah, what is it? (laughs) My processing powers. Yeah. (laughs) No, 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 Kyle, stick with it. Follow that. Don't give up. Follow that. That was good. That was good. Kyle, do some knowledge with Kamina's interrupters. Go. Please, too many rap snacks. (laughs) (laughs) My processing power can't compute. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. I, Kyle, you do guy. know. You do you know. know. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it could be something. Kyle. <laughs> brings me bear. <laughs> it's good. I liked it. <laughs> Thank you, George. Thank Never you. forget that. Like when you doubt yourself like that when you're in the middle of creating one of the best characters I've ever fucking seen. Audi Q8. <laughs> Audi Q8? Audi Q8. George, and can be I be careful? You, George, is I? it crazy for you to see Mark in something else? Hmm. Yeah, how do you feel to put Mark in? How did I feel? <laughs> I felt good. Oh, I felt great. Uh, and, I and, felt and great. It was because, I felt great, too. It was obviously, because of the work that, that you, and, and he did. He's, yeah. He's such a hero, yeah. Right. Are, but, you, are you not like, fuck that guy, I started him, and now he's out doing stuff with other people? And I'm going to end him. <laughs> <laughs> am I? Yeah, are you like. Am I like, fuck that guy? Yeah, because I, st- I, I gave him, him his break and everything. I gave him his big break, and what's he do? Yeah. What's he do? Other uh, goes does Brigsby Bear? Yeah. Is this how he repays me? Yeah. <laughs> Is there any like part of you that feels like, after the fact? Like, this guy is just waiting, just biding his time <laughs> to really stick it to me. Say, look, yeah. look, you built this Luke Skywalker character, and now I'm going to have you abduct it. Well, I don't want to spoil the beginning of the movie. Right, right. I'm going to shoot a low-budget indie in Utah <laughs> in the summer of 2016. <laughs> How'd you get him, Kyle? What was the, yeah, what what was was the courting it? process like for good old Mark? Because I know how I got him. How, George? He was nobody. <laughs> George had him right where he wanted him. <laughs> but that would, that would work for you. You could... I played that card. It's gone. Like, there's not enough... You play that card once, and they have to, like, ruin themselves to be able to play it again. It's a one-time card. Yeah. Like the reveal of Danny DeVito as Louis De Palma in the pilot of Taxi. <laughs> Never exactly do it again. Exactly like that. Right. You don't get a second shot at that. Once no. you see Louis De Palma in the pilot taxi, <laughs> it's not a surprise in episode right. two when he shows up. Well, it's also nobody specifically, I'd say, act one of the pilot. He's sitting in his little command booth and it's high up, and everyone's like, I bet this guy's really tall. <laughs> I have no prior context. I bet he's tall. I'll bet the fucking farm on it. Yeah. And he walks down the stairs. He yeah. opens the door and walks down the stairs. He says, that's to Judd Horsch. Standing ovation. They had to throw out ten pages of the script. <laughs> yeah. No Cut one's to five minutes harder. later. That man is farmless. Farmless. Because from he then on out, the farm. everyone knows Danny DeVito's height dead to rights. 
Wado, can I ask you a, a question that might Anything. be super niche about Anything. the taxi pilot episode? <laughs> Yeah. It, cr- tell me if my memory is serving me correct. Yeah. Is a lot of that episode spent with people on a payphone? Just like so much of it of them like trying correct. to get the payphone to work? Correct. I'd even say a lot of season one in totality is payphone based. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy who leaves pretty early, right? Isn't there another main guy? There are a guy? couple guys who leave early. I mean, yeah. there's one guy who's season one only. Randall? Yes. Randall something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably. No, because the first episode <laughs> is really about Alex Rieger's daughter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, she doesn't yeah. want any, anything to do with me. I, I, she doesn't want me to call her. <laughs> Get on yeah. my back. It gets good when Latifa and Fallon show up. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> that was, It's the best it's, season. It's the best season. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a classic payphone comedy for yeah. the first, like, 30 episodes. Yeah. The network was begging them to call it payphone. Yeah. <laughs> begging them. But James L. Brooks refused. <laughs> I think that is, that is a a high concept idea that could be sold today. Payphone. Yeah. Is this what you guys expected? <laughs> Us breaking down season one of Taxi and talking about Randall Carver, who only was on season one. Was Randall Carver actor name or character name? Actor name. His character sucked because yeah. the game was like, yeah. oh, he was the he got picked up. Correct. Yeah, yeah. In the pilot, he gets <laughs> picked up and they bring him back to the dispatch station. And he's like, I don't want to be here. When's someone going to give me a ride back? John Burns. And he's there for like I think 20 it was minutes. Mr. Burns, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and at the end of the episode, he's like, maybe I stay here forever. And the American uh-huh. viewing public was like, you stay here for 15 episodes, tops. Yeah. And then you're Wait, out. Like he lives there? Like, no, Tom he just Hanks he, in the he, airport? He, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, he doesn't go for Victor Navorsky. Good pull. <laughs> <laughs> But he decides to become a taxi driver. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they just kind of push him away. And he's kind of like a, <coughs> he's like kind of like a middle, Midwestern type. Like he like sh- shouldn't be in New York. Can or we something. go off mm-hmm. mic for one second? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. So glad we're going off mic. He's a bit yeah. of a country rube. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> and I don't know if you can say that in this climate. <laughs> Guys, I think so. I dropped James L. Brooks. I don't think he had anything to do with taxi, did he? James L. Brooks? Uh, yeah, he absolutely did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Why did I feel like he did, and then I felt like, did I say it wrong? No, no you were right. George. No, you were right. He wrote a half yeah, a book great. about George. it. Yeah. Oh, boy, George. Was him. Yeah, I got George. insecure about it, because I dropped the name, and then I thought, was that him? No, Maybe that it's because was... like, uh, yeah. the show you associate so much with Jimmy Burroughs, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. and I was getting my JBs. My JBs all mixed up. Yeah. Then I'm thinking JB Smooth. I'm like, that's too current. No, but I mean, it's interesting, because it's really, the show really starts with James L. Brooks. It's the last, like, classic sitcom he creates, but it becomes the training ground for Jimmy Burroughs, who then mm-hmm. gets the wings he carries over to Cheers, which I'm not saying gets the wings to carry over the wings. That's a different <laughs> sitcom. <laughs> which right. is uh, also in the same universe as Cheers, correct? correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I hey guys, didn't know that. I didn't know that. What's up, George? Hey guys, They're the same what? guys? Hey, guys. Yeah. 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 Hey. Guys. hey, you guys met Butterbear? Very know. close to Briggsy Bear. A lot of bees in the show tonight, George. A lot of bees in the show tonight. Look at... Yeah, you want to you want to say hi to Butterbear? Hi Butterbear. Hey, Butterbear. Is that a? Uh, oh yeah. Say it. What? You were so close. Well, say it, you're so close. Is it a? Is it a wuzzle? Yeah. Oh, it's a <laughs> yeah. Wait, were we on mic that whole time? Oh, back on mic. We're back oh. on mic. Okay. Uh, for the audience here, <laughs> Kyle just nailed it. <laughs> Go on. Uh, this is a, a wuzzle. Uh, in, in the 1980s, when Michael Eisner was in charge of Disney, he decided there should be some new characters. So they invented a couple of uh, cast of new Disney classic characters. There was the Gummy Bears and there were the Wuzzles, uh, both fairly short-lived uh, Saturday morning cartoon shows. Short-lived? It's okay. <laughs> we knew what he meant. It's George, this 80th birthday is coming up real it's quick. After dark. It's after Google dark. how it's pronounced, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, okay. Short-lived? Short-lived. What? What? You're going to be shocked. You've been saying it wrong your whole fucking life. What the fuck? <laughs> the pronunciation is short, l- short live to the second syllable rhyming with hived is more consistent with the etymology since the term comes from the noun life rather than the verb live. Go get your fucking shine box. Go get your fucking wow. shine box. 
Because we are we are months away from the 80th birthday. <laughs> this is a sharp 79. <laughs> wow. This is a Butterbear AM radio. And that means that Butterbear, who talked a certain way on the show, finally can speak in their real voice. Being at all the Chiefs games that she's been to so far this season. You know who's not happy? The NFC representative. That's next. Sports Center All Night continues at ESPN Radio. Pretty fun, huh? Wow. Whoa. Awesome. Wow. Now, Patrick did make a great point. There have been a lot of bees in the show. Mm. And Butter, Butter Bear yeah. bit Butter Bear, a Butter Bear, Briggs B. Bear, Beck that's Bennett. B, B, B. Bennett. Yeah. Oh, Beck Bennett. Beck Bennett. Bobby. Bobby. Thank you so much. B, yeah. B, 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 B. And, yeah. and, look, and look here, look here. Yeah. It's, it's Belushi B. Do you recognize Belushi B? Oh, uh, yeah. You remember him? Yeah. That's it Belushi. Looks, exact, looks like me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, kinda looks like that. we got a little surprise for you, for the three of you. Is Belushi here? <laughs> <laughs> that would be shocking. The best surprise. The best it would be an insane, an insane get. And part of the fun of the surprise is that you can say no. It's one of those surprises that's so fun that I'm going to mention it to you, and then if you say, we don't want to do that, we do not want to do that, mm -hmm. it will be just as fun as if you say, yes, uh. we would like to do that. Now, just quickly, pencils out. Pencils out. Open up your fucking notebooks. 1975 to 76, first season of SNL. The Killer Bees sketch happens 15 times in the first season and never again. <laughs> it is only in the first season before they decide, let's put this thing on ice, where it has laid for almost 48 years. Oh boy. George. I have in this uh, bag. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no. The answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> Three of SNL's finest on stage. Three B costumes. Now, here's how this works. Dude, I don't give. Oh. Here's how this works. I don't understand. Now, I know for a fact that even though he's not an SNL alum, Rich Summer is dying to get onto one of those B outfits. He's love it. There's he's an just, opening. He's just waiting. For one of you three oh. to make the mistake He'd of saying, love it. No B for me, please. And that's a different SNL sketch. No, wait, it's Rich Seinfeld. Summer, Rich Summer was at SNL when I played Rich Summer. That's true. I played his character. I played Harry Crane in a Mad Men sketch, and he was in the audience. So that's the same thing as the B thing. Yeah, so, so we already did it. It's like we did it. Yeah. It's like we did it. You played me in a sketch, too. That's true. You say I drink Coke Zero. I guess. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> Ahmed Best. <laughs> it was Ahmed Best. Hashtag be best. <laughs> wow. All right. That scary, now here's dude. the thing. That got, he that almost got heated. You. That got heated. Now here's the thing. Alec I'm Baldwin. fine. Alec Baldwin. Now, Kyle, you look <laughs> furious with me. Oh, no, never. No, no, no. I think <laughs> Kyle yeah. right now thinks this was a betrayal. No. No? no. Oh, Beck, no. do you no. think betrayal? No, but I think Kyle thinks that. <laughs> I know Kyle. Well, now I feel like you're betraying me. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 no. I think it's a betrayal. No, because I think it's... Because you you've been great to us, George. So I try, yeah, I try, I try, you, I try to treat you if well. If you were kind of like not great and you were kind of a bad guy and you're pulling some weird moves, then yeah. I, I'd be. I'd yeah. feel no, like so there's no bad. excuse, really, is what you're saying. Yeah. 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 I think I don't even know. I wouldn't even know how to articulate it. Maybe you, maybe you guys could articulate it better than than I could. But yeah. um, about not putting it on. Yes. Yeah, so how makes how me it feels. Very nervous. In a weird way. <laughs> as soon as it you feels said that. Sacrilegious. I, I wasn't going to say it like that. I think this is a good conversation to have. Are you worried that if you do this now, you burn that bridge next year when the bees come back in full force? 100%. I heard Elliot Gould is hosting. 
Uh, <laughs> I think here, I would, yeah. Here, here's what I like about this. So, I do think this, I'd be embarrassed in like in terms of like the, the people who are still around. You mean the audience? <laughs> no, no. In, in 1975. Oh, you would be like, Lorraine Newman mm-hmm. will be upset if she sees you in the B thing? Mm-hmm. She, yeah, she's the first person that came to my mind. <laughs> I have a Chevy. Like, just don't like getting like dressed anymore. Oh, <laughs> sure. Sure. That's fair. Now, I'm going to yeah. raise the stakes here. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, now we're digging We do in. all have children, so like if if there's a price point, I do think that uh-huh. I would be down. Well, you, oh, here's the, I I want to make it clear. If you put on the B outfit, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> like well, this isn't this isn't like this isn't like I'm sure we you've all, right, all can been we on. Look at them, and <laughs> I'm yeah, sure yeah, you've all. <laughs> I, I want to throw something else out here. If we're talking about things feeling sacrilegious or disrespectful yeah. or whatever, and this I'd say this with zero pressure, but if you guys don't wear them, Patrick is going yeah. to put all three, all three on at the on same it. time. I knew that was what was coming, yeah. And that's going to make Lauren furious. <laughs> this is live streaming, right? Yeah. yeah Oof. Lauren, Lauren's yeah. probably watching. He's probably watching. <laughs> Honestly, he he is aware of everything mm-hmm. that he is. He texted me about the first. And show. Patrick was going to put on the three suits. <laughs> <laughs> so you put on the suits. <laughs> what, what, uh, can I come to your pool? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. George promised you that you get to keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's that thing where you're a bee. <laughs> you know. Because I know some shows they'll they'll uh, you go to a costume fitting and everything's still got the tags on and you realize they're just trying out some things but they're gonna return everything that they don't use. You put these bee suits on. My word to you is that you will have these for as long as you want them. <laughs> and the great thing about this bit is, if you don't put them on, we're still having the important part, which is the conversation yeah. about them. Yeah, right. no, and I think this is better. Yes. <laughs> because we are, you can tell, the, th- the three of us are not wanting to put these bee suits on. <laughs> okay, so that okay. is really right. interesting. You I, gotta I, no, be, I would, I, at the same time, I would say you guys up. are kind of like the new Belushis. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and you're like the old Belushi? I was going to say... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of feel it. like we're all like weed farmer Jim Belushi's. <laughs> yeah. What was? What, what is the? Just so we know. I, oh, the it, game it, of the bee scene. Yeah. What? How, no. Well, yeah. What are you expecting us to do in the suits ex- specifically? I guess. Well, I mean, it's like bad pitch. Bad pitch. Yeah. yeah. Bad pitch. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm saying bad pitch. It retroactively applies to everything else that's oh, happened in the last five happened. minutes. <laughs> What happens if we just open these bags and <laughs> see what's lie, inside they all, them? They're already open. Well, let's. Why, why not just pour the these, things out? How about these costumes always come already open? <laughs> <laughs> these bags don't close. Well, let me did, plus you know the guys are coming all over the place. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> these did show up Aaron? at my apartment. Two of them were in boxes. One of them was opened. Like one was yeah. just a bag that was opened, and the other That's two were in boxes. The guy on the front is very coy. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Very <laughs> cheeky. It now, looks like Brendan Shaw, that guy, that comedian. Yeah. Keep me in the boxer. The first step is we just each hold one. <laughs> Bobby, you Bobby, you want to join? Be- Beck and Kyle are, are holding. I can't him. get up. I have the wireless mic. Oh, right. <laughs> This is exposure therapy. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. What, what the fuck? Fucking what? You slave trader? Yeah, he's not one of your slaves. What a... You don't own him. <laughs> it's true. Beck has you there, Watto. You don't own Bobby. This is true. <laughs> Got a face like Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> All right, now this is fascinating. Bobby and Beck... They're each holding them, but Kyle has placed his back on the floor, <laughs> definitely sending a signal that he is less into it than Beck and Bobby. Beck and Bobby are showing a general curiosity. One Kyle... size. <laughs> Adult. <laughs> Adult one size. Yes, yeah. because famously, adults are all one size. <laughs> We're down to one. And then there was one. Now, Kyle. Do you have a different guy? A different what? 
a I, different, no, different costume good. model. I think on it's, the di- I think uh, it's yeah, all yeah, the yeah, same uh, busy I'll bee. I'll pick it up if that's the ask. No, no, no. I actually like that you were showing a real independent spirit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give me a award? <laughs> yeah. Now, do you think, the three of you, do you each think that you, uh, you presumably all have different levels of how much you want or do not want <laughs> to dress up like bees? If do I you could, th- I, I would think they want it the least. I think, I feel like you, I feel I like Beck you wants it the, want least. the least. Beck, is that true? I think you want it the least. Me? No, Kyle. I'm not in this. <laughs> I think Kyle wants it. I think either of you, but there's a part of me that's like, I don't want to put on the bees suit, but I, there's a, a pleasing part of me that wants to do it to make you happy. Well, you <laughs> never should have told us that. What? You never should have told us that. But, but, yeah. I wasn't mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. After the work that I've done on myself, mm-hmm. yeah. I know now how to be I didn't just see you like coming. I got legit scared. <laughs> you, thought, you thought Lorraine was going to be behind you? <laughs> Back. After the work I've done on myself, mm-hmm. yeah, I um, I know I don't need to please you. Sure. Okay, can you and I go off mic for one second? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's a Beck and I. Just Beck and I. What's up, Beck? I hear you. Oh boy. I recognize you. I understand what you're saying. This is how you get your slaves. I. <laughs> you did ask me backstage. Am I allowed to ask about the slave stuff? <laughs> yeah. What uh, are the rules of this show? <laughs> yeah. We'll Very get to kind, it. Man. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we'll get to it. Beck, you don't want to wear the bee costume. Yeah. Can I ask? Would Launchpad McQuack <laughs> wear the bee costume? Yes, he would. He would. <laughs> Now I don't know if Launchpad McQuack is here with us tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, let me let me let me see real quick. Me, hey, Launchpad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, would you put on this uh, bee suit? If if Wado asks you. Oh, uh, bee suit. Yeah. <laughs> a B. A B. See me do it. <laughs> yes. Yes. They heard that. <laughs> How I wish he was here, for real. Uh, Launchpad's the best. Yeah. Did you know that the, the guy who played Launchpad in the original one is the guy who does the voice of the stormtrooper who says, these aren't the droids you're looking for? I feel like I that's did a know. Real, I like that's I did a real that. fact. That's a that's re- amazing. He's also the guy in THX. He does a voice, and he says, I think we ran over a Wookiee, and his friend's name is Bill Wookiee. And he made up that, like, he used that word, and wow. George was like, I like that word. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm wow. just telling you facts. I'm telling you facts. Wow. Ter- Terrence McGovern, someone is saying in the chat. That's Ter- his name. That's right. Yeah. Sorry. Just bringing real facts here. No, Terrence is awesome. And that was Patrick's Are trivia you cool? corner. Are you cool if I go drink <laughs> <up real quick? laughs> yeah, go trivia. <laughs> yeah. That's all true. Found out last so- week that Nancy Cartwright. Yeah. The voice of Bart Simpson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her first job, her first voice job. Yeah. She's the voice of the little shoe that gets dipped in the dip. In, in uh, Roger Rabbit. In Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And can I say, oh. Bobby did ask Cat last week. And I mentioned it. Mentioned that, and came backstage and said, "That was only for you." He said that to me. <laughs> and I said, "Thank you so much." <laughs> I thought that was cool. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. Bobby, how fast do you dry off? How fast? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Great question. Um, super fast. Really? Yeah. You rub? No. What do you do? No, I um, I I have oh. like I have Rich like, and Patrick. I wow. have super thick skin, like a penguin, so it just kind of beads up. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm just picture wait, an wait, emperor you, penguin in the shower. Wait, you dry fast? I, the water doesn't even it doesn't even touch me. Oh. Slides right off. I'm like a, like a, like a gelatin boy. Do you have like? Uh, do you, do you have like true coat? <laughs> yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a deck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like like a good deck. It's like William H Macy tried to upcharge someone for you. 
that might grow. That yeah. might. <laughs> yeah. That was perfect. Now um, I dry off super quick is the answer. Yeah. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a development. You now, among the three of you, only one of you can be a B. <laughs> I <laughs> did you did you make Rich Summers come here for this? <laughs> Rich begged us to be the alternate. He's the, he's the greatest human in the world. Yeah. Um, is do you think there's one? Do any of you think there's one of the three of you who wants it the most? I, I, now I think it's Kyle. Because he thought I wanted it the least. Yeah. So I, I think Kyle. You know it's what interesting because you know each other so you know well, and yet sometimes you think things about each other that aren't true, but you each think it about the other. Oh yeah. That's gotten us into a lot of trouble. Some scrapes? Some scrapes? Some, yeah, maybe some not talkings. You know, like, oh, he thinks this about me, but he thinks this about me. And then they don't even talk to each other, and then they're like huffing and puffing over in the corner until they talk about it. Is that true, Kyle? I don't know. <laughs> you huff and puff in the corner? <laughs> yes. This is so crazy. Yeah, me too. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I'm so... Bobby. You look like Leon the professional. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we go... Uh, can Leon. We go, can we go off mic? Can we go off mic? George, George off mic off with you. Everyone right? off mic. We just Everyone off mic, yeah. Should I be on? No, you, you can be on. You stay on okay. mic. We all go off mic. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I, I just was going to let you know that we, uh, Pat and I went back and put on the bee suits. Yeah. <laughs> When? Just <laughs> well, you guys were talking. You guys were talking to Beck a minute or to Bobby a minute ago, right. and Pat and I just went and put on the B yeah. suits now. So also, the ones the, that were here. Yeah, the ones that were there. So we have them on. We already we already have them on. The the one bag that was open did not have the B head in it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I just did. put my hat back on. Yeah. Mine had it though. I didn't know. I so didn't if you guys want to go back on mic now, I just want to let yeah. you know. Yeah. Can I go so on mic quickly? Could, yeah. Sure. Uh, Tech, can we get like a spotlight here downstage, center downstage? Is it possible to get a spotlight? And Rich and Patrick, now yeah. that you put on the costumes, sure. maybe step into the light. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, Live. And, and now that you're dressed up for the occasion, why don't you regale us with some of the classic dialogue yeah. from the Killer Bee sketches we all know so well? Yeah. Well, there were 15 of them. Yeah. yeah. There was a Pick lot. any one. And sure. It's not like this is kind of iconography that's gotten abstracted into nothing. Mm, we yeah. all know the lines. Say them. Didn't they do it just to piss off the Muppets? Yeah. They didn't want to do Muppet sketches, right? so they wrote yeah. these. And then everyone in the sketches was like, why are we doing this? And that's all I remember. Is that one of the lines? Sure, say it. Why are we doing this? <laughs> They do know That's good. It. See, yeah. That's from the, yeah. You like us. You really like us. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Yeah. This is an opportunity. You have three. Uh, Wait, Rich, look at Rich's socks. I know my socks. They were kind of. the B costume. Yeah. That was a. Rich, dink. I told you, Rich came to play tonight. He wore his B socks. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. We have three SNL alums here. Yeah. This feels like a good opportunity for you three to give feedback. This feels like this could be a backdoor pilot for a hit reality series. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Sure. yeah you know what I'm agree. talking about? Because even the format sort of feels like you have a cool authority in this light. Yeah. yeah. You know what they did wrong. You know what they did right. Last comic standing kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm the Simon. I'm the really so. mean one. Okay, good. But then, so do, do one of us then get on SNL after this? Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Sure, it would not? be really funny if it was me, <laughs> you know, out of uh, the two of us. Listen, okay. I, I, I'm rooting for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> so we're giving some notes on that performance? Yeah. yeah. You guys, I thought you crushed it. Thank you, you came with the stripes, the yellow, the black, so the much. wings, everything, the glasses, the socks. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah. That yellow and gray. Yeah. You guys were like up there and loose and just didn't. It was just awesome. It was Positive. just like the original cast. Yeah, I don't know, like, um, 
when you guys sort of discuss what the dialogue is going to be, it sort of takes me out of it, but really funny shit. <laughs> Murder each other. <laughs> You look. You guys look great. Thank you. Thank you. I like how we can almost see your anuses. Yeah. 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 Can I? Is... Can I just call out? And I. I don't mean to make you self-conscious. Yeah, please. Rich's legs look kind of incredible. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah. Rich Summer. I... Rich Summer uh, did the picket outside Disney every day and yeah. just yeah. got. Jacked. Those are those I, are specifically Buena Vista legs. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I got yeah. I got a Watto nose in my pants right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rich. I have to say, uh, the silhouette, the silhouette on that for you is really working for me. <laughs> Thanks, uh, There's a there's a danger to the way you wear that. I know. Well, like uh, my like. Like, I feel like I'm always on the verge of seeing something I'm not supposed to, the, but the I length, never do. The length of my torso does not exactly comport with the length of this yeah. costume. Yeah. Right. It is, and it is, yeah. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick, by I, the way, we're not at risk of seeing anything. No, Don't I feel the need to adjust. Don't feel the need to adjust. Jeez. Patrick. Just yeah. two microphones and a Watto nose. I, <laughs> That's right. I feel like I feel like this. I feel like you're working with a completely different silhouette, and yes. I think the way the the fabric is draping. Yeah. There's just something about it yeah. that is reading Mother of the Bride. Yeah. <laughs> the costume, Rich. I'm not gonna lie. Rich uh -huh. is busy B. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Patrick, you look great. Thanks, Kyle. I think you look fantastic. Okay. Yes. All right. I yeah. didn't. I don't need this. I want to be clear. All right. Okay. We're, uh, we're going to sit down now. Sit down? We're gonna, yeah. yeah, it's a good <laughs> really idea. We're just going to sit down now. Oh, here you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is really I after dark. I don't like dark. that I'm sitting on this. Like, this is... Oh, God. Is you the don't stinger, like it. <laughs> can you feel the stinger when you're sitting? Uh, no. The stinger's... No. Nah, it's pretty It's soft. a flaccid it's, it's pretty soft. crazy that your balls are right there. Isn't that wild? It's yeah. so close to you. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nuts. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. I miss does, you. Does that seeing us good. in these make any of you want to put it on more? N no, it was no. the opposite <laughs> feeling. Okay. It was the opposite. Okay. All right. It was like, I love being sitting here in this chair. In the I like your I choice of words there. Thank you. You said, I like being here sitting in this chair. <laughs> yeah. You found your own way to be a bee, and it has more to do with <laughs> existence and less to do yeah. with some silly costume. Exactly. I'm being here. Yes. Uh, I'm not, it's, it's beautiful, back. Yeah, thank you very much. That's what I try to do across the board every day in my life. And Presence. When you said before that you were tempted to put the costume on because you wanted to please me. Yeah. You already have pleased me, Beck. You've done so many things that have made me laugh genuinely very hard. Aww. Thank you, George. George. Wow. Thank you, George. I like when you were the, the little baby that's in a, an adult body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. baby. They should make that into a boss. movie or something. They should have. They should have yeah. just switched it around. Yeah, I don't know. Made it like a little baby, but he's, I don't know. I mean, we all, there's a million ways you can rethink those things when you're looking back. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but thank you. I, yeah. I love that character. Kyle, I already said how you impressed me. Oh, thank you, George. It's, uh, uh, and Bobby, I want to know who told you about my... <laughs> a gen I want to know who told you what I drink for soda. That's private. <laughs> you think it's a joke to go on Saturday Night Live and say that I... No, Can I have another Coke honestly, Zero? Yeah. It's just guys like us, guys that are shaped like us, always ask for Coke Zero when they, when they really want a peach snapple. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write the joke or you just act it? I did not write that joke. Uh, a man named Dennis McNicholas wrote that oh, joke, who is a very big Star Wars fan. And right. he, he came running in and was like, you have to say <laughs> Coke he, Zero. He came running in like he just he came learned in it? came in like, I got it. <laughs> yeah. And he, I think he was right. And the yeah. thing is, I know I was mad before, but it's just because it was funny. I, I was at Star Wars Celebration. Are you trying to impress in me? In 2020? Probably, probably not. Were you there? Was I there? With, not with you. Twenty twenty one is Anaheim. 
Where were you? Anaheim. It was twenty. Uh, it was 2022. 2022. I, I don't care. Okay. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, and uh, I was at Star Wars Celebration. I was at the hotel bar, and I feel a tap on my shoulder. <laughs> I, I just, just in case you didn't know how yeah. that goes. Um, yeah. And uh, it was Jet Lucas, George Lucas's son. Your he, son. My son. Your son. Your, sorry. Uh, yes, your son, Jet. What a weird way to speak to me. To me. Uh, <laughs> He goes, you know, my dad... Feels threatening, honestly. Feels threatening. (laughs) Just say my son. Say your son. He said, my my dad doesn't like Coke Zero, and I I got a little nervous. But he was just kidding. He was just making a joke. Oh, God. He was trying to protect me is what he was doing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But here's the thing. I I like spoofs. I like being spoofed. I like doing spoofs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people have done spoofs, and I'll, I'll buy the spoof. To I used pay to love hardware spoofing. wars. What is your? Do you like that? I love it. I like any of the spoofs. I don't like when it's hardcore pornography. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Princess Lay her. <laughs> that was a real one. That's a real one. <laughs> he doesn't want that. He's mad now. Ju- what did I just say, Bobby? It I'm doesn't sorry? turn me on. <laughs> you know what turns me on? My wife. Hey, George. Yeah? I just looked over on the edge of the stage. No, no, no. Down here. Yeah? Can you look and see what someone just put on the edge of the stage? It's, it's a bomb. It's, uh, well, I don't know. It's three Whoa. tapes. It is three VHS three. tapes. Whoa. It is three pre-special is there, VHS really? tapes. Can, is, does the venue have a hammer? <laughs> if this someone has good. a hammer, leave. <laughs> Can't the appeal that. of Star Wars has gone beyond anything I could have ever Hammer imagined. Flying it. I am pleased that for the final video release of Star Wars, <laughs> for the final video release of Star Wars in its original version, oh, no. we can present it with the best sound and picture quality George. yet available. <laughs> thanks to THX Digital it's Mastering. Happening. In the years to come, I hope you, your children, and your children's children will enjoy not only this trilogy, but also the adventures yet to come in the continually unfolding Star Wars universe. Signed, George Lucas. George, pull one out. Pull one out. <laughs> oh, going, going long ways here. So for anyone yeah, listening on the Ford. radio, if, if you're listening on the radio, Harrison George Ford is smashing a the tapes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this, George? Oh, yes. Is that Where Empire? Is that what I... That's Return of the Jedi. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I have, to, I have to do this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I no, you yeah. don't have to apologize. No, I was going to... That makes sense. Everything, They're unfinished. Yeah. It's unfinished. It's well, just while print. you're doing it, how long does it take you to dry off? <laughs> how long does it take you to dry off? Get, get your, your mic. Yeah. Here. Well, you can keep... Bang. I I have a collection of 35 millimeter prints of the uh, test versions that we released of these. <laughs> and yes, I use them to dry my to body. Dry. Uh, <laughs> It also it destroys the it destroys those versions like Uh-oh. a car wash like you just walk through <laughs> the film <laughs> walk through them <laughs> exactly great. that's quick yeah it's quick and it's fun and it gets rid of some early drafts that should never have been shown of course <sighs> back to work <laughs> you gonna help him. Hey, George. What? <laughs> Who said that? Uh, it's Kyle. Kyle. Kyle over here. I think, I think, I, I don't think they'll work anymore. I think you're fine. <laughs> George? Yes, Kyle. Is that nice? <laughs> No. <laughs> Do you want to go back to your little chair? <laughs> Thank you, George. Yes. 
There's a father. Kyle's Kyle's recently a father. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, but really, my art is my uh, or my children. You each have one, right? Yes. That's correct. We each have one child. <laughs> They're not each other's. Little Bender. <laughs> And Big Bender. And Charlie Dude, and the Chocolate have kids. <laughs> That's nuts. Yeah. Yeah. It's just crazy, man. It's like a whole... Like, crazy. I was like, oh, there's a little me walking around. When I met you, you didn't have kids. Now I got two. And you got one, you got one. Yeah, you got two. <laughs> Somebody say boo? <laughs> it wasn't us. Love Don't kids. look at us. It was one of them. That's fair. <laughs> That's that, fair. Did someone say boo? Who booed? Who, Who booed? booed? Get up here. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you boo? Yeah, lean into it. Thank you, thank you for you Can know. You cough with a B sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come here. here. Come here. A man no, come on up. Really? Come on up. A man who coughs with a B must dress on, as no, a B. Come with, come with me. Come with us. Put it on. I gotta say, this guy is undressing fast. <laughs> No, this, no, he this was is, ready this. to pour layers off yeah. after dark. This shit would never happen under daylight. No way. Can I, can I, Kyle and Beck and Bobby? Yes. Yeah. Just while they're, just while they're dealing with uh, what they're dealing with. Yeah. Part of me was afraid that you guys would be too excited about the B costumes and we would, be, we would never get the show back on track. I was kind of relieved when you didn't want to put them on. Because I knew it would be fine. I knew we'd end up with bees in the show one way or the other. Right. It didn't have to, it didn't have to be any of you. Thanks. But, you didn't make it feel like it. Wait, okay. But I yeah. wanted, it would be insulting to not offer you first tips. You understand? I appreciate that. Yeah, no, we really Agreed. appreciate the thought. Yeah. It was nice but of you to think about it. I didn't know it would be like such a running theme of the show. You didn't think you didn't think when those costumes came out that it would last more than a few minutes. You thought this is a quick little this is like a, a little desk piece, I a little palette when, cleanser. Uh, Beck came out with a quick no, I was like, okay, we gotta laugh. Yeah. yeah. Move on. These are done. Let's... Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm very happy that they that's not me yes. wanting well, it's more anything else. This is going one of two ways. Whenever you bring people up on stage. I, know. I, it was worth the risk. I think so. He said, he said B. He booed, he booed with a B. Yeah. I booed with a B. Do you, Wano, and that's the first him, time you've done that? Do you want a mic, Wano? Do you want a mic? Here's a mic. Say something. Risky, risky. That entire time, he was just trying to convince me to take my pants off to wear this costume. That, <laughs> and hey, you get... No, no, this give is it back. Now. Give it back. Give it it's back. Wow. Now. Give it back. No, no, no. Um, I, I, I declined, and you know he respectfully agreed after some convincing. But... Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. It's got it. All right. What happened was, I said, Eric, do you feel comfortable going pantsless? He said, Yes, if I can get them over my shoes. For there is some reason, Eric can't remove his shoes. <laughs> Am I full of shit? No, I'm not. <laughs> and so he, but I will give him credit. He tried. He had his <laughs> pants down. And he said, I can't get them over my shoes. No way. And I said, mm -hmm. you could come out with them around your ankles. It'll work. <laughs> and he said, I, I don't think it'll be as good. I said, uh -huh. no problem. <laughs> That's how it went. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Eric. Eric? <laughs> I'll be yes. speaking for Eric now. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yes, he will be speaking for me. This is <laughs> And you feel that's an accurate representation of what went down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How right. long does it take you to dry off? <laughs> a while. It takes, it takes a minute, but yeah. it's always worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Uh, George, I think we're going to make that a shirt. It takes me a minute to dry off, but it's always worth it. Yeah. There's never a point where you've dried off and you thought, I shouldn't have gone through all that. <laughs> that, that, is, that has happened. Because you get wet again, 
And uh-huh. I said, why did I do this to get wet again? Yeah. 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 Yeah, totally. Yes. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you get dry. Yeah, like, he get gets wet. It. Yeah. Oh, it looked re- like Bobby had a question. Right there. No, I was going right. to say, I like the Wuzzles, but do you remember the Get Along Gang? No. <laughs> what is that? I do. Were, were they created by Hallmark, or am I confusing them? There's, with the there's three that I always <laughs> confuse. It was the Wuzzles, Shirt Tails, and Get Along Gang. Shirt Tails were the Hallmark ones. Yeah. Shirt Tails was... Uh, yes. Get Along was created for American Greetings, Okay. which is uh, Hallmark adjacent. Competitor. In and and uh, Strawberry Shortcake uh, as, uh, was one of those as well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Strawberry shortcake. Yeah. yeah. And and Patrick Rainbow Bright. Yeah. Google Rainbow Bright. Okay. And then delete it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and pa- yeah. And Patrick. Yeah. New tab. Okay. Gem in the hologram. <laughs> sure. Rainbow Bright Hallmark. That I didn't ask you that. Well, just... <laughs> okay. Gem in the holograms. Got it. Hey Eric, is this what you were hoping for tonight? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, uh, uh, water, water. Can I, yeah. can I get one of those? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, he's you're been, really on the razor's edge emboldened. right now. He's been emboldened. <laughs> he's right. been emboldened. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> I, I mean, the, uh, here is here is an earnest barter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will give you a can. You made me take my pants off. Nope. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I will trade you a can of bespoke ale mm-hmm. for your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> do you want Water Dog Hazy fi- 650 or can you handle the Jandal? <laughs> These are from San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, can, you can, handle. can you handle the Jandal? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Don't no. <laughs> what time is it? It is 11:33, which means and we should wrap up soon. Uh, yeah. what? Oh, I've seen. Yeah. If we don't finish by midnight, we'll be in trouble. Oh. Is that true? No. Oh. I wanted to add steaks to this. Sure. I have a bag of garbage that Patrick gave me. That's true. A lot of giveaways. Who likes giveaways? Who likes Yes. There you go. Got him back on board. Look at these guys. I, I know this is after dark and the rules don't apply. Yeah. But it, the show is still advertised as George Lucas talk show. And mm-hmm. I do feel like this audience paid. They threw their fucking saw box down on the barrel. Yep. They deserve a little talk show. Can I just do a speed round of questions? Yeah. For our oh, yeah. Absolutely. Serious Absolutely. journalistic questions. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go down the line. Kyle. Yeah. SNL. Yeah. Some of this shit that happens on this show is so fucking crazy. <laughs> Two part question. One, yeah. what were you smoking when you wrote this shit? <laughs> and two, where can I get some? <laughs> that is. Uh, yeah, um. I, d- I, I'm sure people were partaking and stuff. I, I would, uh, I would have a, some drinks after the show, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I wasn't doing it before writing, really. Thank you, Beck. <laughs> yeah. I watch SNL, and some of this shit makes me bust up. And I'm thinking, how much of this is improvised? So tell me. How much are you improvising Saturday Night Live? Not at all. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, very little. Sometimes maybe a little bit, but you, you kind of can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, great answer. Yeah, Bobby. But you, okay, you oh, no, can't. No, 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 back, no, no, back, no, no back, I'm back. not done. Okay, yeah. now begins. Okay, I'll tell you why. Everybody yeah. knows, but everybody knows this. How would Launchpad answer this? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the second part. That's the second part. We'll get to it. Okay, as, as we, you can't, there are lines <laughs> in the cue cards. Yeah. That are camera cues. So if you improvise, you'll mess with the camera cues and mess with the whole sketch. But that's what real life is. Yeah. It's just messing with camera that's cues. That's not you my know? question. Yeah, no, that's it's not my question. Uh, Beck, second part of three part question. Yeah. <laughs> is Launchpad here with us tonight? Hey, what, in the in the theater? 
Uh, 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 yeah, I flew here. Launchpad. Yeah, that building doesn't have any lights on top. Crash right into it. <laughs> Launchpad, thank you for gracing us with your presence tonight. Hey, yeah, yeah. thanks for me, great you gracing me too. <laughs> One part question building off of the two parts previously to back. I watch DuckTales and this shit makes me bust up. <laughs> How much of it is improvised? And what were you smoking and where can I get some? Um some of it is improvised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have a lot of fun, and um, I do smoke weed. Cool. And I, I smoke spliffs, and um, I go to uh, <laughs> wellness. In oh, they have great weed. Thank you. Right down the street much. from Kyle. Don't tell people that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not. It's like it's in the same neighborhood. <laughs> so we live, <laughs> but it's not near you. No, hey. What are you doing? <laughs> Bobby Moynihan. He's genuinely upset. <laughs> so, Bobby I'll, Moynihan. I'll, yeah. I'm so sometimes, sorry. Sometimes. I'll Bobby, bleep it for YouTube. Don't worry. Bobby, sometimes I smoke weed, and it makes me bust my shit up. <laughs> my you have to lift the balls? Yes. My <laughs> question is, when you watch S... When you smoke pot, <laughs> do you ever do an SNL? And how much of that pot is improvised? <laughs> <laughs> and where can I get some? <laughs> of the SNL e that you improvise. Eagle Rock. <laughs> Rich. Hey, Wado. I watch Mad Men. Uh -huh. And it busts my <laughs> shit up. And I'm thinking to myself. Yeah. What brand cigarettes are these guys smoking? Oh, uh, yeah. And where can I get some? And how many of these pitches to clients are improvised? Uh, the, uh, the fake cigarette, the, we had to smoke fake cigarettes, Watto, because it's a California workplace law. And they were called Ecstasy. Uh. It was the brand name, brand name. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and you get them, I don't know where they get them. Maybe a, a fine uh, tobacco shop, but they're not tobacco. Sure. They, they'll give you, they'll definitely fuck up your lungs, but they sure. don't, uh, you know, no heart attack or anything. And do you improvise the pitches? No. I always, I, when I watch Mad Men, I went, this feels loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's fair. It's got kind of like Jamie Kennedy experiment <laughs> energy. Where I'm like, this is just whatever everyone's feeling on the day. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm wrong? You are. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's word for word. <laughs> Could have fooled me. <laughs> That's how good we were. George. Don't forget yeah. Eric. Yeah, Wado. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> hey, back. This isn't a fun, funny question, but you ever read any of the Carl Barks comics that DuckTales was inspired by? No. I'm sorry. You know, I wrote the foreword to the first volume of the Carl Barks comics, the Fantagraphics reprinted. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. You want this? Oh, this was a poster that was on my childhood bedroom wall for episode three. <laughs> Is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants this? Patrick. Hell yeah. Right there, George. Patrick, childhood bedroom wall. Yeah. Poster. Is this, this is the actual poster from your. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is, a, a, is this a ripped Lego poster? Yeah, there's also, a ripped, there's also a ripped Lego Star Wars poster in there, too. That's awesome. This was uh, uh, a lot of this stuff is Patrick's mom showed up and said, you got to get rid of all this shit. You don't even live near us anymore. All that. Who wants Joanna Robinson's uh, badge from Sketchfest? <laughs> That's good. Patrick, what the hell? <laughs> Patrick said, give this stuff out in the show. What is this? It's Joanna Robinson. She couldn't make the show, so I had the badge. This, I don't want it. This feels like it would be used in a crime. <laughs> we trust our audience. Who does not participate in identity theft but wants this? 
Hell so yeah. Whoever that. gets the badge, you have to promise you don't walk into the offices of the ringer <laughs> and attempt to record the podcast Where? under her name. You have okay. to promise. You promise? I promise? Say it like you mean it. You mean it so much? Yeah. Nope. With the bottom of your heart? <laughs> you had me. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> With the bottom of my heart. Wait. No, that's bullshit. It's like when you realize someone's from another planet. <laughs> it's just that little tell. I mean it with the bottom of my heart. You were going to walk into the ringer offices and try to write stuff. It's too dangerous. It's okay. Okay. What? It's what? It's expensive. What's expensive? Gotcha. <laughs> was a, that was a dangerous giveaway, Patrick. I guess. It almost there's, destroyed the show. There's so much more stuff in that bag. I thought you were just going to be going like this. You know, that's what you normally do. Um, we, yeah. we did an improv show. Buffoons did an mm. improv show. Mm -hmm. And we do a bit where we, and we threw all this stuff out. And, we, and I took a stack of DVD screeners mm -hmm. and threw uh -huh. them out. And then realized when I got home... Yeah. Uh, that one of the DVDs that I picked up on the bottom was uh, uh, just a DVD of all the photos of me and my wife swimming with dolphins on our honeymoon. <laughs> That's a bunch of stuff from Sundance, George. <laughs> There's some Napoleon Dynamite merch. Come and get it. Which Sundance? It's the 20th anniversary. Oh. We were just there for a documentary Ask about the show. until someone is satisfied. Was that, was that slam dance? But, uh, hey, Bobby. Yes. Do you remember the buffoon sketch about the racist audience. Peach Snapple? Honestly, yes. That was good pass shit. This bag around the audience <laughs> until it's empty. All right? Still holds up. Still holds up. <laughs> I. I want to just get some predictions for the next year, and I want everyone to make a prediction or mm. make a wish. Uh -huh. Does that feel like something? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Eric, does that feel like something to you? Yeah. All right. I'm going to give you a few seconds. You don't have to do, you, if you want, you can do both. You can do a prediction and a wish, but you only have to do one of them. Okay? But we're allowed to do both. You're allowed to do both, but please, I beg you to, to at least do one prediction and or wish for the remainder of 2024. And we'll do this. We'll have a moment of thinking where we just listen to the contents of that bag. Yeah. <laughs> just slowly. Everyone be quiet. We just, the only noise I want to hear, the only noise I want to hear for this final segment of the show is the noise that Patrick's bag of garbage is making as the audience... It's honestly a lot of good... There's, there's shirts that bring the noise made for live streams. Patrick, I don't want anyone okay. to know what's in that bag. I it's want a dark bag of yet. Sundance garbage. A lot of good stuff. Just travel through the audience. All we want to hear is the noise of the crinkliest giveaways in history. <laughs> no laughter. I know it's fun. No laughter. I beg you. Some people can't help but laugh because of how funny the noise is. Okay. Oh, you're, you're, you're finished with this part? <laughs> is this part over now? Hey, guys, this part's over guys, now. Got it. Part's over. You, yeah. the, you know, that's the thing as a performer. The audience lets you know. Yeah. Yeah. When a bit is done... They will, it will sound like, with one voice, they will speak. Okay. Audience is always right. All right, Eric, we'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Off mic. I'll repeat it. Say it to Watto. Tell me. A prediction or a wish for this mm -hmm. year. Or both. Mm. I'll, hold on. Eric, yes, sir. if what you tell me isn't good, I'll do a quick dialogue pass. <laughs> I'll punch it up so you can't fail. I'll punch it up. You can't fail. Give me a pitch.
Mm-hmm. That's your wish or your prediction? <laughs> I No, I like it. I think it's good and it's earnest. Eric's wish is that the Cubs win the World Series. Mm-hmm. No punch-up necessary. Mm-hmm. I mean that. That's great. That's I great. think it's a good wish. I think it's a good wish. Rich. Are you, you're not doing one? My wish <laughs> is that I could get all this stuff that everyone was smoking <laughs> when they wrote SNL and Mad Men and then do so many improvs <laughs> that bust up everyone. Uh, mine is a, a prediction. It's a lock. I think... Um, that uh, Trump will, he'll finally, like, we'll get it. We'll be like, oh. (laughs) He'll, he will be able to reach the rest of us who, like, I'm someone who hasn't been reached by him yet. Uh But you're open. But I feel like (laughs) I've seen enough to go, he's going to get there (laughs) for me. I'm with, I've been on defense for years yeah. and just waiting for the opening to jump in. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's right it's, there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my prediction is that Amazon will not accept the return of these bee costumes. <laughs> but I'm going to try. Well, the, you mean they're not going to accept the return of them again? <laughs> sure, because this one doesn't have the... This one was returned already. Yeah. Bobby... I predict good fortune for all. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Kind of safe, but good. <laughs> and I wish you well. <laughs> That's less nice. safe. That's really In nice. all your endeavors. Wait, so wait, what was the Trump wish? I wasn't finished. It was <laughs> a prediction. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize Go that. Go ahead, Bobby. Also... <laughs> So I was a part of it. I'm finished now. (laughs) Prediction or a wish? Okay, so what was the Trump thing? Oh, it's just a prediction that I'm that I'm gonna. He's gonna finally. I'm. He's gonna say something and go. Oh, Oh, that's what they were all finally get it. Oh, see, that's what what they were all thinking. My wish. When you said that, I I realized what my wish was. It came to me strongly. It was a vision, and I saw him losing the election. And saying something, and then when he's walking away from the podium, his pants get caught, <laughs> and they pull down, and we see his weird dick <laughs> and balls, and they're kind of like. Red Wait, are they in the th- back? <laughs> in the back? I don't know why I was picturing him walking away. Yeah. So then I pictured pants falling down yeah. and his yeah. ass with a dick wedged. on it. Yeah. He's, no, no, I, I like walking away from Let's the podium like this, and it's like. Shh, and he's like, and he goes, and he goes something like this, like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> and he like falls down the stairs, and like you see everything, and he like bangs up his head, <laughs> and it's like it's bad, but like not like he didn't like crack open his head. He's just kind of bloody, and he's just like, <laughs> and he's screaming like the grape, the grape lady, the yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. like that would be awesome if that's how he lost, and he's like. Ah, 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 ah. And then they come and arrest him. Back. Because of that? If, if yeah, because my- <laughs> of because there were kids in the audience yeah. and they saw his dick. And he if, goes away for Yeah. 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 If That's my how thing, we get him finally. Yeah, like if, my thing, for you. if my thing doesn't happen, I hope your thing Thank happens. You, yeah. 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 It's a win win for us. I hope, I what, I, I, hopefully it's both of us. Yeah. Well, that'd be that'd, that'd be, be amazing. Great. That'd be great. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, so he yeah. actually wins, but then the pants thing happens. <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> That's what did it. <laughs> You're not president. <sighs> Kyle. <laughs> um, amazing stuff so far, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have a prediction, which I, I, I don't know if I'm like behind the times or if I'm looking forward in a, in a really interesting and cool way. Um, forgive me if this sounds, I feel like I already use this word, but basic, like kind of like 
unearned or or right. or unimportant in some way or another. I, I do genuinely think that bread and butter is going to have a moment. <laughs> I I don't know if you've been noticing. I've, I'm starting to see like more butters, like sort of like yeah. garlic butters or um, like a. I, I saw a chorizo butter. Mm. Um, well, the, yeah, and there was the whole butter tray. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like yeah. None of us would say that. <laughs> that. <laughs> the butter tray I, that's thing. A, that, I, I I shouldn't. I I exactly. I think that's. Oh, okay. No, thank no, you're God. Right, you're right on. That's exactly oh, what I'm thank talking God. about. I'm I was, sorry. I, I was, was being. Gonna, I, was I went to a dark. Being an asshole thing. for a second. There. But no, I think <laughs> that's, that's it. I think that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like people were turned off from bread for a while, and I and I think that um, it's coming back. And I think get ready to eat it because it's going to be there. <laughs> yes. And yes. Enjoy it. That's it. I think you're spot on, George. Kyle, your wish ties into mine. Oh, well, it was a prediction. Well, it's a prediction. You, actually, your prediction ties into my prediction because. <laughs> I'll get to my prediction in a second, but oh. my wish is, uh, and I don't like to talk about this too much. I didn't, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I, 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 I found out last year that I don't own my own driveway. Um, there's pending litigation, litigation in San Anselmo. My neighbors died, and then their, um, what do you call them? Heirs, heirs, heirs descendants, yeah. yeah. There's a zoning problem whereby they think they own my driveway. So I sued them. I sued the my, I sued the kids of my dead neighbors <laughs> to prove that it's my driveway. And my wish is I get my driveway back. It's mine. But my prediction is that I'm gonna finish my museum this year. And Kyle, Kyle, and I don't mean this because I'm not. I'm not saying. Please don't say you watch the show just because I said I watch Brigsby Bear and I watch you on SNL. You don't watch this show. I'm a big fan of you. You guys. do. You like this. George Lucas talk show. George Lucas talk show. Absolutely. Don't, don't spoof me, man. <laughs> I don't okay think that you, would be a spoof. Do you know what? I, <laughs> do you know what is going to be in my museum? Do you know that me and my best friend Steve uh, are like the biggest Norman Rockwell fans in the world? I uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I knew you were a Norman Rockwell yeah. fan. Yeah. Me and my buddy Steve are the, the number one and number two uh, um, Norman Rockwell collectors. And do you know about Butter Girl and Butter Boy? Do you know about Butter Girl and Butter I Boy? I don't. There's these normal Rockwell paintings that were done for plates, and one of them is a boy who has butter on bread, and the other is a girl, and she has butter on bread, and they're buttering. And Butter Boy, he's already buttered the slice, but Butter Girl, she butters with the whole, she puts the whole bar of butter on the bread. So when you're sitting there predicting that but- bread and butter is going to have a moment this year, and I'm working as fast as I can to finish my museum, and in that museum is more Nomi Rockwells than anybody's g- ever seen. Just so you guys can get an image. Uh, you see, see that? Butter Boy and Butter Girl. You see Butter Boy and Butter I Girl? I was on with Leah, Tom- Leah Thompson. Yeah, yes. and we talked about yeah. Butter Boy and Butter I Girl. Eat, I, yeah. I eat butter like her. I'm like, I, I you go, like the whole, I go big. The whole, the whole, the whole, the whole yeah. l- l- loaf? Wait, so, um... You don't. You don't have a date of the opening. It's Exposition Park, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> into it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, George. George, should we ask him? What? We oh, a- will you be a docent at the museum? Will I be a dancer or what? <laughs> a doce? Let's go off mic for a second. <laughs> off oh, mic for God, one second. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Can we go? Hold on. Yeah. I was about to get him to be a docent at the museum, but I think we might be able to get him to be a dancer. At the Switch museum. it to dancer. Just ask. Just ask. Should I? Should I just? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Back on mic. Switch. Wait. Yeah. You, would you be a dancer at the museum? I would love to be. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great. Great. Can you can no you dress up? No B. Just dance. Whatever kind of dance you want to do. Return mm-hmm. of the Jedi. I got some ideas. Any style of dance you want, you pick the costume. Okay. Back. Back. I noticed you looking jealous. Your friend. No, he, I mean, he's what great. do you want to do in the museum? I would love to dance, too. <laughs> what do we say, audience? Hell yeah. I would, I would just like to prance about. <laughs> I don't want to dance. Two dancers and a prancer? Yeah. <laughs> come, come and come mix in. Am I right? <laughs> Does anyone have anything else they want to do tonight in this show? 
I kind of want to put on the bee costume. <laughs> You got it. I was kidding. I was yeah. kidding. Oh, God, you can't set that up. I want to thank all of our guests for coming out here in the rain tonight. Kyle Mooney, Beck Bennett, Bobby Moynihan, Rich Summer, and Eric. Eric! The half of the Eric. George, let me just say, we have, a, we have a merch table out there with a bunch of signed posters. Go say hi to JoJo and buy some uh, cool posters. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And may the force Love be with you, you always. I'd like to shout out the Samuels family that's here. I met them in a Claire's. I met them in a Claire's at the Westfield Westbrook Mall. Hi, guys. Hi, Samuels, Samuels family. Good night, wow. Samuels. Hi, Hi, Samuels. Hi, Samuels. Bye. I love you guys. It's a true story. Love that noise, George.